In this video, we will demonstrate how to set up the ArcScan Wi-Fi label printer on your Windows computer. ArcScan's YouTube channel offers free help and tips for label printers and other e-commerce technology. If this video has been helpful, please give it a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. We will demonstrate how to set up the ArcScan Wi-Fi label printer on your Windows computer. Before continuing watching this video, verify if your printer comes with the Wi-Fi connection. If the printer's model number ends with WF, then it has this feature. To get started, we need to make sure that the USB cable is plugged into both the computer and the back of the printer and that the printer is powered on with a blue light on top. Let's begin by opening a web browser and going to the website arcscan.com driver. Click on the Windows drop-down list, then Wi-Fi tab. Click this link to download the printer tool. Depending on your browser, the download status will show in different locations. Chrome is in the bottom left. Firefox is the top right. Edge is also in the top right. And by default, these browsers are usually set up to put your downloads into the Windows download folder. After completion of downloading the file, click in the browser to open the file, or go to your download folder and double click to open the compressed zip file called diagnostictool.zip. Once opened, drag the folder called Printer Tool onto your computer's desktop. Note, if you try to run the program while it's still inside the compressed zip file, the software's language will not show as English. Double click to open the Printer's Tool folder. Now, double click on the printertool.exe file. Under the Interface drop-down, make sure USB is chosen. Click Get Status, and make sure the dot turns green. If the dot does not turn green, verify your USB connections are fully pushed in and the printer is turned on with a blue light. Click on the tab that's labeled BT slash Wi-Fi. Click Scan. This will find all of the detectable Wi-Fi signals and list them in this box. Sometimes it can take a few minutes, depending on how many Wi-Fi signals there are. When your Wi-Fi connection appears, highlight it and then go up to the PIN field. Enter the password for the Wi-Fi name that you selected. You can click this box to reveal what you have entered. Click the Connect box. If the printer is able to connect to your Wi-Fi network, the IP field will populate an available IP address. You will need to copy or write down this number for later. If the populated IP address is 0000, it means that the printer has not been joined successfully to your Wi-Fi network. Most likely, the password that you entered in the PIN field was incorrect. Click Get. Now, we highly suggest to set the printer's IP address to static instead of dynamic, so that your computer can permanently connect to the printer with the same unchanged IP address. Dynamic IP can still work until your Wi-Fi network reassigns a new IP address for the printer. Choose DHCP off to set the static IP address. In this IP field, paste or write in the IP that we just copied. And now click set to save this information to the printer. We can verify that it worked by going to this drop down, choose Wi Fi, set up, discover. You will see the printer listed with the IP address we assigned it. Now exit this window, click Get Status, 
and verify that the dot stays green. You can also click Configuration Page to print a settings page. On the printout, there are two IP addresses. Wi-Fi STA IP, which is the base station IP address of the printer so that your router can recognize it. This IP address is the device identity within your computer network. We need this IP address to set up the printer's driver and the following instructions. If any of the IP addresses from these four checkpoints are different from others, or any of these four IP addresses are not shown, it's an indication that the printer is not reachable from your computer due to network, printer, or computer settings. Then please watch the advanced tutorial for how to find IP address of the label printer video. Please unplug the USB cable from your computer and the printer before proceeding. Let's continue to set up the printer's driver by IP address. Let's go back to the web browser to download the driver to complete the setup process. Under the Windows tab, let's click on the Download Standard Driver for Windows. Click on the completed download or find the 2054A Seagull print driver in your Downloads folder. Once the installer is opened, accept the terms, Next, Next again, uncheck the Read Instructions box, click Finish, A Windows warning dialog may pop up at this point, or it could blink in your taskbar. It may also ask you to type in your computer's username and password. Or you can just hit yes to continue installation. At this next step, choose Install Printer Drivers. Next, choose Network. Next. In the list, scroll down and choose 4 barcode 4B-2054K. Click Next. Let's create a port. Select Standard TCP slash IP port. New port. Next. Now, type or paste the IP address from earlier. Next. Give it a moment as it adds the new port. Click Next, Finish, Close, click on the port name that we just created and click Next. Now we can rename the printer. I'm going to call mine ArcScan 2054K. Click Next when done, then Finish. Lastly, click Close. The driver is now installed and set up to print to your ArcScan printer over the Wi-Fi network. Just a few more things before we finish. In the Windows search box or magnifying glass, depending on your version of Windows, start typing the word printer and printers and scanners will appear. Click on the icon Look for the ArcScan 2054K printer, or whatever name you gave yours from a few steps ago. Click on Manage, Printing Preferences, Page Setup tab, Advanced Options, Driver Options at the top. Click the checkbox next to Disable User Defined Page Size. Click Apply, then OK. Under Stock Name, select the 4x6 size. Apply and OK. This will set the driver for printing 4-inch by 6-inch labels. Now that the printer and driver are ready, we can test print a sample 4x6 label by clicking on this link or by going to arcscan.com sample. 
Make sure you have run the printer calibration before printing. See the link below on how to run printer calibration. Let's print a 4x6 sample shipping label. There are different ways to print depending on which web browser you are using. In Chrome, you can click on the printer icon in the top right. Edge also has a printer icon in the top right. Firefox, you can click on the icon or go up to File and choose Print. Now that we have the print dialog open, let's first verify that ArcScan is selected as the printer. In Paper Size 4x6, Fit to Printable Area, or Adjust Scale Percentage to Fit, Usually it's 100%. Now we can hit print and verify. If a single label printed and fills up the entire label, your printer works properly. When printing a label through the Wi-Fi wireless connection, you may experience a variance in speed and printing duration. Wi-Fi is in a bandwidth sharing environment, compared to USB printing, which is more consistent since it's in a dedicated environment. You should expect the printer to take about three to 10 seconds to print one four by six shipping label based on your wireless network's traffic in that moment. And if you want guidance on setting up how to print with a particular printing platform, Visit this link to see more information. If our content has been helpful, please give us a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to our channel where we will continue to offer free tips and help for our label printer users. And be sure to click that bell icon so that you'll be notified of our future releases. And please use the add comments section below to contact us with your questions or feedback. Thank you.